Okay, guys, uh, here we are after the same spot. It turns out there's just a toilet in the middle of the woods. That makes a whole ton of sense, but anyway. Um, <laughs> so anyway, now that that's done, Sylvia just confessed our love to us, so let's continue on beyond the gates of heaven and hell after transversing the lost woods in the true Legend of Zelda style, except that we're the Legend of Travis Touchdown and Sylvia Crystal. Let's get started on fighting this Dark Star asshole we keep hearing so much about and hopefully take his ass down. Welcome to my castle. I heartily receive you, my son. All right. Enough with the jokes. A joke? You don't remember me, Travis. I am your true father. Blood does not make such mistakes. Jeez, you are full of it, aren't you? Good story. I'll give you that much. We'll see if this is just another story. Even if you were my father, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters here is who's best. Remember, son. Engraved into your memory is the night when everything changed. I fell to my feet right before my son's eyes. Do you not remember this? In my deepest memories, I hear someone calling. I remember. It was a hot summer day. There was someone standing behind my father and mother. That person killed my parents. The face, I can't make it out. Who are you? Remember. Who are you? Try harder. I think I can see it. Almost. Do you recognize the face? Now I remember. Everything. Well done, son. She was the girl you loved. You're still as gullible as ever, Travis. Think, why would he be your father? I guess you're right. I don't have a father. At least not anymore. You killed him, didn't you? Yes. And that's why you became an assassin. To kill me. Now I get it. All those fights. It was for this. I lost everything that I ever cared about. That bitch took everything. I can help you to get even. She's a good con artist, that's for sure. She set up some killer fights. So you and I finally meet. You should thank Sylvia. Jean, there's just one thing I want to ask you. Who are you? Me? You don't need to know. All of your trivial questions will be answered in the afterlife. Answer me! It's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? It's too terrible. It alone would jack up the age rating of this game even further. So what? Who cares? What if the game gets delayed? You don't want this to become No More Heroes Forever, do you? All right. I'll fast forward this so you can tell me. Okay. I'll make it short and quick. You are no half brother. You know that manga called me Yuki? The Japanese one? Well, it's like that. Your father abandoned my mother. Given that to your mother. It broke her heart beyond repair. She killed herself. Knowing I had nowhere to go, she took advantage of me. Ever since I can remember, she neglected me. We lived in this rotten apartment. And I was his slave every day I cursed his soul. I swore that I would kill him one day. That's my story. Imagine that. You and I. Brother and sister. Now you see what I've been through? 
Maybe it had to be done. But vengeance begets vengeance. You're right. Go ahead. Draw, brother. All of your sorrows end today, Jean. Well, now, if there weren't like a million homages or references to Star Wars, Duke Nukem, or what else have you, then I don't know what is. But it looks like here we have Jean, and she is the final boss. She is our half-sister, and she killed our father. <laughs> yes, our father, Dark Star. God, I can't just... Alright, so this is the toughest enemy. She doesn't have any one-hit KO moves, but she is tough. She has, like, invincibility frames up the ass. Okay, so that one wasn't too bad, but you want to be really careful, because if she gets a good combo on you, then you're kind of screwed, so... Uh, you can't grab her, so don't don't even bother uh, trying. If you see her get dizzy, just use it as an opportunity to attack. And eventually, the arena will get smaller, so you're going to want to keep that in mind, because... Uh, um, it kind of, it, may, it doesn't change much because it's not like we're using the entire arena to begin with, but um, you still kind of want to be careful. So she's just doing basic combos right now, but uh, once we get a certain uh, a certain amount of damage done, she's going to start doing a ton of shit to us, and she's going to do an unblockable move eventually, but God, that wasn't that cutscene just awesome, you guys? God. Not only did they break the fourth wall multiple times, but they made some extremely popular references. I don't know. I love, I love, I love that aspect of this game. Oh, here we go. So it looks like we've dealt enough damage to do this, and it kind of sucks that you know Jean kind of just comes out of nowhere. But it's kind of a bit more explained after this. So, and something I can't really explain right now, nor can I um, later when we find out more. Oh. So. So she's, she does, she's really kind of annoying with that move that she's always doing right there, but she's only almost dead, I'm kind of surprised. Now be careful because the health over there, it does not restore it fully, it just, it's one of the small, I guess, dumplings or whatever type of thing, and she's going to start being an asshole right now. Like there, as you can tell, she's doing super guarding blocking shit, which is annoying as hell. Alright, and for the final phase, now she's going to start pulling out the big stuff, you know. God damn. And your mouth didn't even move so now it's pretty small. That's what she said. That's what she didn't say. Oh, and death! Alright, looks like one more combo. We got it, you guys. Come on, let's do this. Let's. Oh. oh I fucked myself today. Alright, let's run. Let's run, I said. Okay, I can't even do anything there. Now look at her little dot there. It's gonna, like, go across the screen like hello. Yes. Oh, let's, let's see what we got here. Well, we got it charged. We just have to time it correctly. Oh, oh, here it goes. We have to. Oh no. Do it. Right. Brother, please don't kill me. Sorry, Jean. This hurts me too. We're both in the same business, after all. And I've... had enough. Time for you to rest, Jean. Good night, Travis. I hope your next dream is a more pleasant one. It's over. This is where it all ends. Right, Sylvia? I like how she still had like a little bit of like cleavage. Oh god damn it, our clear rank was just a little bit too low or too high. Why was it so high? Was it oh it's probably because of my talking so much in the beginning and shit and going the wrong direction. But anyway, that's the end, you guys. We just beat Gene. Now I can see how, you know, Gene the Cat came into play, but looks like that was it, you guys. Gene the Final Battle, quote unquote. So with that, now there's something a little bit interesting with this game. And you guys will see in just a moment. Well, I guess not that, but here we get a special fanfare of, you know, dramatic sorts. Now no longer is Dark Star ranked first. We are now the top rank assassin in the UAA. Beautiful, 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 you guys. We made it to the top, but at what cost? 
Oh, man. And all is said and done, all it is is just, just a, you know, place, place on the list. Unfortunately, but... Uh, now remember to have collected all of this shit, because if you didn't, then this part would be kind of pointless, so... Not exactly pointless, but we're going to save really fast. And just, I guess, like, in keeping with the theme of my other LP, is we're going to go ahead and show off all my save subots. And I think I've already done it once in this LP, but anyway, here we did this. And uh, as you can tell, I had the three for this one. Um, the cl this is just the clear data. I beat it in eight and a half hours my first run through. And that was just to beat the game as fast as I could, you know, just so that I'd be able to play it on a harder difficulty, but that wasn't the case because you have to be a new game plus in order to do that. So this one took a bit longer because of all the side stuff we decided to do. And I did a third one on accident, and that was just more or less recently, like after I did this one, I accidentally pressed down once, so we can just alternate in between these. So might as well save over to this one, I guess. Over 830, there we go. So it took us half an hour to do that. Now, rank one. What do we do after the game's over, you guys? I mean, no credits, no no nothing. Oh man, this has probably got to be one of my favorite parts in the game, and I can't really narrate over it if you guys want to get the full effect. Kind of how we did in the uh, death metal battle, how he was having his monologue. It's similar to this, but um, if you got all the weapons, um, we've got three options here. This first option is Return to Santa Destroy, which we will not do. The second one is to view the game's normal ending. And this would be available when you beat the game. Now, this third one would not be here unless you got all of the, you know, the Subaki weapons that I've been talking about over the course of the game. If you do not have all of them, this option will be redded out, which means you can't select it. This is the true ending. So, I guess in keeping with the Noir theme, you can choose your choose your destiny or whatever. But, you know, to end this off, we're going to do the true ending. And, my God, is it true. I love it. Oh. It's finally over. Can the guy get some privacy? At least when he's taking a dump? I'm afraid not. These fights don't work like that. It's time to die, Mr. First Rank. You gotta be shitting me. Will you hurry up with that? I'll be outside. That was close. Thanks. Ugh. What an idiot. You're a disgrace to yourself and all those you've killed. Huh. Well now, it looks like we've got the return of our Sir Henry motherfucker. Alright, so let's go against this asshole. So yes, here is the true ending against Henry. And even though it's not mentioned in this game or in any other game, his last name is Cooldown, which is a little odd. But uh, he's got a couple of uh, good techniques, I guess. Um, nothing too life-threatening. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, oh no, they switched our Subaki MK3 out for the... Oh, that asshole. Oh, alright, so let's just, oh, god damn, whoa, that charged up really fast. Well, now, okay, I'm, I'm not nearly as, uh, as famished as I should be, but, anyway, um, he's not really all that hard, I mean, Bad Girl is probably a bit more tougher, but he does have a cross saver, so that's a, that's a little dip, a little different, I guess, but there he is, kind of showing off like a little Irish prick that he is. Yeah, so, come on, man, alright, so, looks like, ooh, yeah, that was nice, okay, so, we can't really do too many of our charge moves because they they, uh, they they run out way too fast, I swear to god, but um, looks like Gene's sitting there with a couple of buddies, uh, yeah, just chilling out because you stupid cat, uh, so I think those uh, those projectiles are just probably, I don't know, he doesn't really have that many mistake moves, like, except, whoa, right there, where he should have castrated us by all means, but apparently not, so, uh, yeah, this is this is only available if we got all the other Shibaki MP3s, and I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense to collect all the weapons and then have this be the final fight. But I guess I'll. Whoa, okay, that was really close. I guess I'll take it. Uh, so, whoa, whoa! I don't know what happened there. I don't know if we got hurt. I think we did. I wasn't paying attention to my health. But whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa! Okay, man, settle down. Settle down, sir, any motherfucker. I guess that's. That's his official nickname, that's what we're gonna call him. 
and uh, God, we even have a new restore. I'm glad how fast it restores though. Luckily, we bought all the upgrades for it. Otherwise, it'd be um, whoa, okay. Matrix shit everywhere. Ugh. Uh, that health in the corner, I think, is just a little dumpling like it was in the other one. And of course, we have our motorbike thing. I think it's just called a motorbike. I mean, I didn't bother looking it up, but I. Now that I think about it, it's not motorcycle, but I, I know it was a motor or something. I don't know. I don't care, but, um, ow! Apparently, uh, the Spock MK3 that we got is also available on the PlayStation Network store, so I guess that was, yep, a little dumpling. Uh, that restored all our health, wired. Um, yeah, it's actually available for really cheap, so even if you do have Heroes Paradise, then you'd be good to go to have the infinite bean katan as a ship, but... Alright, we're almost good! We're almost done! You're, oh, oh, whoa! No, I shouldn't have done that! God damn it. Uh, Alright, come on, let's finish this asshole once and for all, I swear to god. He's not that hard, I'm just, I'm making it a lot harder than it has to be. But, right here, alright, final attack, Boom! Yeah! You are so dead. Damn it! That all you got, Travis? Don't make me laugh. Mind if I ask you something? Sure. Why the hell do you call me Travis? Travis, like you're my friend or something. Who the fuck do you think you are? You can't be serious. All this time you didn't realize. What are you talking about? I'm your twin brother. What the hell? That was the craziest shit I've ever heard. Why would you bring up something like that at the very last minute of the game? I would have thought you and the player would have at least expected a twist of fate of some kind. What? And hey, where's Sylvia anyway? She disappeared without a trace. Where the hell is she? Sylvia. You mean my wife. What? Wife? Yes, you know. Spouse. Soulmate. Henry's wife. Get the idea? When did you two get married? Oh, about ten years ago. Yeah, that's right. Because we were both in college at the time. Huh? Oh, shit! All news to me. I'm gonna need shock treatment to get over this one. I'm sorry for all the trouble my wife has caused you. Forgive her. She caused me some trouble, all right. But it helped me clear up a lot of things. Ah, you know how women are. Especially my wife. A really big spender. Yeah, she knew my income wasn't enough, so every now and then she'd just disappear. She's a bad wife, but a good woman. What? Are you telling me that you and her... Oh, come on! <sighs> but Travis, my brother, we're similar in many ways. <laughs> You're right. Suddenly you being my brother doesn't sound so awkward. <laughs> Let me ask you, how do you plan to put an end to all of this? Wait a sec. You want me to tie up all these loose ends? I don't think so. You're the protagonist. I'm just a cool, handsome foil who happens to be your twin brother. Hate to say it, but it's your job. I want to bail, but where the hell's the exit? Oh. There's no way out, is there? No getting out, right, bro? That's right. All we can do is keep running. Then let's find that exit they call paradise. Yeah! Let's go! And there you have it, you guys. The ending of No More Heroes Red Zone slash Heroes Paradise. There's virtually no difference, but uh, yeah, we're playing Red Zone here, so there it is, you guys. The ending. I can't believe we already... This felt so fast. Like, I felt like I'd been planning to do this for ages, and I haven't been. Like, I, I literally just... I was like, you know what, let's do this. I'm Because I started playing Shadows of the Damned and I got like super pumped up and I wanted to do No More Heroes before I did Shadows of the Damned. So all my, all my, you know, my scheduling was all screwed up everywhere. But anyway, I have this nice uh, watercolor painting over here or whatever you want to call it with the, you know, nice little yellow credits, which are very difficult to read. So it's, uh, I'm not even going to try reading it, but it looks like here was a death blow for both of us. I mean, I don't know how either of us could survive. Like, it just seems like the energy from both of our beam katanas would just automatically kill us, but I guess not, because we're just that badass, you know, we're in front of the, you know, the power star saving thing, whatever. And it was really annoying is the fact that they, uh, they, they switched the Subaki and K3 on us, and like I was saying in the fight, 
they, it is available. All that stuff that I got, that I said before, is available on the PlayStation Network. It has been, I think, for only a week or two now, but for the game that's only been out for like a month, then I guess that's, that's pretty cool if you guys want to pick it up. They're really cheap, like a dollar a piece or some shit, or you get the bundle for like a dollar fifty. I don't even know, but... Um, anyway, I don't really know what else there is to say. I mean, it's the credits, and... They're very, I mean, for all the nerdiness that was the Eternal Sonata credits, and I guess you guys haven't seen the Lindelon episode yet, I'm guessing, so I'm not going to spoil that, but these credits aren't very exciting, as you can see. If you pick the Star Wars credit, oh, I just spoiled it right there. <laughs> if you guys pick the normal ending, you'd get Star Wars credits, God damn it! and the song that they played, the ending song, is kind of, it's like reminiscent, it's in the Star Wars style. But afterwards, what's really cool, and I'm guessing you guys have probably seen by now, is the song that Dr. Peace sang, uh, The Girl Makes a Wish Without Feeling Something. I have something like that. It's really long. It'll come up, I think, in the credits here, but um, that plays during the second half, and that's a really awesome song. So No More Heroes, Original Staff, Grasshopper Manufacturer, Suda51! Oh, man, that man is a sexy man. Guichi Suda! And then we have programmers and all these other Japanese names that we don't really know. We don't really know much about NPC programmer. You did a terrible job. God, was the entire project just your day off or something? Artist none. Uh, Katsuyoshi Fukamashi. 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 Uh, Trikafumi. Yusuke. Yusuke! Hey! And then all this other stuff that I, I, I don't even know. But anyway, uh, I can't. Yeah, like I said, in the future we might uh, eventually, hopefully, get to No More Heroes. Desperate struggle. I haven't even played that still. Uh, I've been meaning to get into that, but we'll see, I guess, because, like I said, I don't like doing too many of the same projects right next to each other, so. I'm probably. I'm thinking I should probably uh, switch pretty soon to a different genre instead of the normal action shit I've been doing. Like, God. Like, all these games I've been doing, I've been, like, rated M. I need to go back to the. I don't know, at least teen or something. I need to do a nice long RPG or something. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, if I do an RPG, it probably won't be for a while, but I already have another. God, I think I'm getting sick. Uh, uh let's see. Uh, I don't even know what else there is to say. Oh, the dialogue mixer. <laughs> My spleen! Jesus Christ. I want to see if that song comes up, because I'm really curious to know what it's called. I don't, I can't remember, but... <clears throat> Anyway, uh, so not much else there is to say because the credits, credits, credits. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, I don't want the credits they are just going to end abruptly because there's going to be a little sequence at the end here. Like, not to spoil anything, it's just something truly really random that comes right after the thing. But I have no idea when it's coming up, so right now I'm just stalling a little bit while the credits are rolling. And this song is pretty sweet, too. Like, there's a lot of unused music in this game that they have, like, on the original soundtrack, and there's also even, like, a like a remix of the original soundtrack called, like, the Dark Side Mode, but... Alright, here's the... And you guys... You like this painting, don't you? Hmm. Let's go, Jean. I know. Can't wait to get the sequel, hmm? <laughs> and there we go, you guys. The end of the game. And, uh, of course, they have to continue the, uh, you know, the movie references. You know, obvious Back to the Future reference in case you're, you know, in the vein of Chuck of Conroy and you've never seen that movie. But anyway, we got the achievement! Woo! So, uh, yeah, you guys, this is the end. Um... I'll try not to keep this too long because, I don't know, it already seems like a long enough episode, probably cut in half, just like my Lenoir episode, but, uh, oh, excuse me, but, um, anyway, I really appreciate all of you who, you know, kind of watch this. This is kind of one of my shorter LPs, I've noticed. Usually they've gone into, like, the 40s, or this is almost as long as Dead Space 2, but, of course, I've been making it much longer than it has to be, so, <clears throat> so... Yeah, um, there's not really much more else there is to show. I already, uh, uploaded another episode before this, hopefully, outlining the free fight missions, you know, just in case I felt like it, but, uh, um, perhaps in the future we'll do No More Heroes 2. We'll see. I'm not exactly sure yet, but, uh, 
we'll have to see about that um so again thank you so much you guys for watching i really appreciate it you guys are amazing and uh i, I, I love making these videos for you guys so <laughs> anyway um next time we're gonna be playing another suda 51 production aka shadows of the damned so uh that one's pretty sweet too so Hope you guys look forward to seeing that one. I have yet to record a single episode of that, but hopefully we'll get into that very soon here, perhaps even after you see this, depending on how the uploads go. But uh, anyway, I love you guys so much. Thanks again for watching. I always feel like I say that way too much, but you guys, I really, really appreciate it. So um, I will talk to you guys later.